Hey, hey, y'all. How you doing? It's Tierra Sharde. I just have a quick message for you. Um, first of all, shout outs to everyone who liked the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine message I just uploaded. Thank you for your likes, shares, comments, your emails, your text messages, your phone calls. Um, just supporting the messages that I have been releasing thus far. And the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine message was amazing. Like, I had to play it back because, you know, when you're just in the channeling mode, you're not really, like, listening to the message. You're just delivering it. So I played it back, and I'm just like, wow, like, this is, yeah, it's such a great message. It gives great insight into what's going on with the energies on the planet. And I have yet to listen to, you know, the other oracles and messengers on what they're getting but I actually want to because I want to see um if there's any type of um, merging with our messages which is usually the case we get the downloads and we decide to share it or not right so um yeah I want to see what everyone else is saying but I'm, I'm here to tell y'all right tell you all that be patient with each other right and in the comment section of the divine feminine and divine masculine message make sure you tune in if you have not um i listed a song that i was channeling and it was chris brown don't judge me uh please don't judge me and um that's the song that i was singing when i was tapping into the divine masculine energy and so you know listen to that song but also just now it like came to me that there needs to be a message about understanding the other and wanting to understand the other, right? If your divine masculine is a person, right? And it's not just energies that you're balancing and reconciling with yourself, um, within yourself. If your divine masculine is an actual person, there's a need not to judge them, um, hate on them, drag them, blame them, shame them. And this is vice versa too, right? So like divine masculine, try not to judge the divine feminine right now. Try not to look down on her or think that she's being vindictive or petty or anything like that. Um, but specifically with the, with the masculine energy, right? Um, they've been through a lot, all right? Y'all both have. But I want to understand that there's a certain elevation that the divine feminine experiences before or more than the divine masculine and or more than the divine masculine. And the divine masculine is now, um, for many of them, for many of you, is now rising to the occasion, seeing what's really going on more clearly gaining more direction and enlightenment on their path on how to move forward, on how to improve, um, on how to be the best that they can be within self. So I just want to say, like, be patient, be mindful, be respectful to the divine uh, masculine right now. They have not been on the journey as long as you have. They have had a lot of brainwashing, y'all, and... Um, a lot of spiritual attacks, a lot of low vibrational people trying to get into their energy. Um, it could be because they fine as hell. It could be because they have money. It could be because they're just charismatic or intelligent or they're compassionate. They have a good heart. So they've been used and abused and it's just a lot. And they haven't really had access or, um, as much support as the divine feminine has had, as much connection to emotions and emotional intelligence and maturity like the divine feminine has. So um, there, you may be experiencing like this delay kind of thing in you both moving forward on your journey together. And it's because of that. The divine masculine has, when it comes to like the spiritual and emotional stuff, the divine masculine has um, a lot more to push through 
and achieve than the divine feminine. And I want to be careful. That's not to say to um, just accept any old kind of behavior. Uh uh. That doesn't mean that you have to be there and I heard be beat up, whether that's physically, emotionally, sexually, right? You don't want to be beat up sexually either. Um, there's a need not to engage and be in that space just because you know that they're going through a hard time. Uh uh. Like the video we was saying, integrity, accountability is very important for the divine masculine to understand right now. So don't stay in a situation with the masculine if it's harmful and unhealthy for you. And don't be needy and codependent either, divine feminine, because that actually um, inspires and enables and encourages the divine masculine to stay where they are. So um, I just want to say that. But yeah, that that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Like, release your judgment. Release the need to rush, rush, rush the masculine to do what they need to do and balance themselves and do their inner work. And not to say that that's what you were doing, but just so you see a little more clearly what the masculine has been dealing with as opposed to what the feminine, divine feminine has been dealing with. It's it's different. It, it, they, they may mirror, but it's a bit different, especially when you're talking about answering the divine call on your life and answering your purpose. Okay, the divine feminine has a different type of connection to the divine so that, you know, it's it's easier for the divine feminine to answer the call and be in alignment and be in her stuff and do her inner work. The masculine, all their life, they've been separated from emotion and doing inner work. And for many of them, for taking accountability, right, they had some some of y'all had a mom who really enabled you and allowed you to have certain behaviors um, and uh, certain behaviors that hurt the feminine. And a lot of the masculines have had men and wounded toxic men in their life, teaching them that this is the way that they should behave their whole entire life. So there really needs to be that separation. And the feminine, you know what it's like to be um, in the dark night of the soul and be in the shadow realms and doing that inner work, you understand how heavy um, that energy could be, how heavy it is to move through that space. So have compassion for the masculine. Understand that they may have a harder time than you did even, okay? Just consider that and um, allow yourself to hold compassion within you towards them, okay? Whether you're separated or not, whether you're, um, oh, and I heard that just because you forgive somebody does not mean that you need to be with them. Make, make that distinction and make sure of that within yourself. Okay. But yeah, that's it. My loves, that's a really quick message. I hope you're doing well. Click on the information in the description box. If you need a session with me, if you need to talk to me, send a donation. Um, and we're enrolling in the Pussy Portal program as well, okay? So talk soon. Peace and love.